Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Penny's Reading Nook. Today I have for you a book that's called I Want a New Room. It was written by Karen Kaufman Orloff, and it was illustrated by David Cotro. Find out about this little boy wanting a new room. Dear Mom, I know you think I should share a room with Ethan now that we have baby Annie, but here's why I shouldn't. When Ethan sleeps, he sounds like the cat coughing up fur balls. Why can't you move Annie in with you and give me back my room? Signed, your very tired son, Alex. Dear Alex, go bother your father. Signed, your very, very tired mother. Dear Dad, you have no idea what it's like to share a room with Ethan. He sticks crayons up his nose and barks like a walrus. And he snores like Grandpa Ralph. So how about giving me my old room back? Please don't say go bother your mother. Been there, done that. Love, fed up Alex. Dear Alex, sorry we had to move you out of your room, but Annie's a girl, and Mom says girls need privacy to do girl stuff. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm guessing it has to do with hair and makeup. Love. Dear Dad, Annie is a baby. She doesn't have any hair, and if she wore makeup, she would drool on it. By the way, did I mention Ethan broke my skateboard and lost my brand new Captain Creepy action figure? The kid is out of control, Dad. Love, your seriously upset child, Alex. Dear Alex, you know four-year-olds are a little careless. You were just like him at that age. Remember when you fell into the cake at Grandpa's 60th birthday party? Good thing the candles weren't lit. Why don't you have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Ethan about respecting your property? Love, Dad. Dear Dad, thanks for the advice. Now I know exactly how to handle this. Love, your diplomatic son, Alex. P.S. Diplomatic was one of my vocabulary words. Dear Ethan, this is your side of the room. This is my side of the room. Stay on your side, Alex. P.S. Don't touch my stuff or else. Hmm. Dear Alex, do you realize you gave Ethan the side of the room that doesn't have a door? I just found him jumping up and down on his bed, yelling that he can't come out to take his bath because Alex said so. Fix this problem when you get home from soccer, soccer practice or else. Love, Dad. Dear Dad, okay, I told Trampoline Boy he can use the door now. Honestly, Dad, you see what I'm dealing with here? Please give me my room back. I promise I'll keep it really, really clean. Love, neat and tidy, Alex. Dear Alex, does that include cleaning the iguana's cage? I've noticed an unusual smell coming from that general direction. Just thought I'd mention it. Love, your concerned father. Dear Dad, let's not change the subject. Here's the thing. I'm practically grown up. I want a new room. Plus, I think I should get rewarded for all the A's I got in school. Love, Alex, the super student. Dear Alex, nice try. But if I remember correctly, you got three B's and one A. And I think the A was in lunch. Love, Dad. Dear Dad, even Stinky's dog, Lurch, has his own room. That dog is treated like a king. He's got six pillows and his own TV. He and Stinky watch cartoons and eat cheesy popcorn every single night. I'm not even asking for a TV, just one little room. Love, your human son, Alex. P.S. Stinky got a D in lunch. 
Dear Alex, no can do. Love, Dad. P.S. Stinky scares me. Dear Dad, it's more than the room. It's the principle of the thing. Why do I, the oldest and most important kid, have to suffer just because you and Mom had another baby? Does that seem fair? I don't think so. Love, your number one son, Alex. Dear Alex, yes, you are very important to us, but so are your brother and sister. However, you have made some good points. A boy your age needs his own space. Maybe we could build you a special place of your own. Love, Dad. Dear Dad, now you're talking. We could add a whole new wing onto the house. I can have my own bathroom with a hot tub, skateboard ramp, and a bowling alley. What do you say, Dad? Here's a floor plan. Love, Alex, the architect. See, he's got a, he has a plan. Dear Alex, slow down there, buddy. We're not gazillionaires. We can't build you a condo. I was thinking of something like a tree house. We could build it together. You won't have to share it with your brother unless you absolutely want to. Love, Dad. You mean it, Dad? I do, Alex. There they go off together. Alex has got his treehouse all by himself. Tries to play ping pong ball by himself. That doesn't work very well. He throws his baseball. There's nobody there to catch it. Here he is in the treehouse all alone, all by himself. Oh, dear Ethan, do you want to play with me in my treehouse? Love, your big brother Alex. Yes! Thanks, Alex! The end. That was I Want a New Room, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, boys and girls.